Look, the question is, Chunni Bhai had certain number of diamonds. What all diamonds he had? First son he calls up. Now, he tries to divide in three parts. But one was left out. So he gave one to the watchman, guard or what all. He made three parts. Means he had number of diamonds which was threes multiple plus one. He gives one to the watchman, remaining he makes three parts. Gives one part to first son and keeps the other part. Means now he calls second son. Second son he calls, he is left out with 2x. Again he divides in three parts. Means and gives one to watchman. He gives one to watchman. First he called up first son. Gave one to watchman and remaining he made three parts x x x. Gave one part to first son, he gave this part. Remaining two x he keeps. Now call second son. Second son two x are there. Again one he gives to watchman. Means remaining are two x minus one. He divides in three parts. Two x minus one three parts. One third of two x minus one each part. One third of two x minus one each part. Now, again one part he gives to one son. Now, remaining are two parts of this. Third son he calls. Third son he calls. Look, he was left out with this. He made three parts of that. One part for e for second son. He gave one part. He gave one part and kept two parts. Means he kept two third of this. Again from this, he gives one to the watchman and again he divides in three parts. Again he divides in three parts. This much he was left out with, two third of that. Gave one to the watchman. Now, again he divides in three parts. So, each part will be one third of this. Will give one part, gave one part, and keeps two parts of this. So he's going to keep two third of two third of two x minus one minus one. And then again, and all that. So if you want to write what all he was left out with two third of. 2 third of 2x minus 1 minus 1. From this again he gives 1 to watchman and makes 3 parts. So now finally, finally each son gets 1 third of 2 third of 2 third of what all we are left out is simply what do we do is 2x minus 1 this 2 third is going to be very painful process what all we have written here. Is going to be a very painful process. So now, what is the smarter way? All that if you check out, is going to be a very painful process. Smarter way was. Each time he divides in three parts, he calls first son, he makes three parts plus one. What all he keeps, he calls second son. Again he makes three parts plus one for watchman. He calls third son, again what all was there, he makes three parts plus one. And at the last, all the three together, all together, again he makes some three parts plus one. Now, what is the logic? Forget about what all complex I spoke up till now. Every time, it should be threes multiple plus one. Plus one, this goes to watchman and three parts. So. Each time it should be 3 is multiple plus 1, 3 is multiple plus 1. Now, even at the end, it should be 3 is multiple plus 1. Now, when we say 9 is 3 is multiple, 9 is 3 is multiple. We can call 10 as 3 is multiple plus 1. But at the same time, 10 means basically 10 is 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 1. Now, but even someone can write 12 as 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 minus 2. 1 is nothing but 3 minus 2. 
so you can see 10 is nothing but 3 is multiple plus 1 if any number is 3 is multiple plus 1 we can call it as 3 is next multiple minus 2 Ten can be called as three is multiple plus one. Ten can be called as three is multiple. Every time we need three is multiple plus one, means we can call it as multiple of three minus two. So based on this, I am giving you a formula here for these kind of questions. The number of diamonds that person had in the beginning. Number of parts we make each time. Raised to number of times. Number of parts we make each time. Raised to number of times. Minus number of parts raised to number of times. What all we make? Number of parts each time minus one per watch. Means each time he were divided in three parts. Four times he did. Minus three minus one. So three raised to four, eighty-one minus two. He had minimum seventy-nine diamonds. Three is multiple minus this. Now why does it work out? Minimum diamonds he had seventy-nine. First I'll clear it. He had seventy-nine diamonds. First son comes. He gives one to watchman. One to watchman he gives. He gave one to watchman. Remaining seventy-eight, he divides in twenty-six, 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 three parts. Gave one part. Remaining are fifty-two. Mind well, this is threes multiple plus one. Fifty-two is threes multiple plus one. Gives one to watchman. Gives goes to one to the watchman. Second son he calls. Makes three parts. Seventeen, seventeen, seventeen. Gives this remaining R thirty four. Again, you check out three is multiple plus one. Gives one to the watchman. Remaining third son makes three parts of eleven each. Gives eleven, eleven, eleven. Gone. Remaining R twenty two. Three is multiple plus one. Gives one to watchman, and each son gets seven, seven, seven. Quickly, I was just trying to prove your seventy-nine is three is multiple plus one gives one to watchman remaining seventy makes three parts gives one to son remaining are two parts seventeen three is a fifty-one plus one gives one to watchman three parts for second son gives one remaining are two parts eleven multiple plus one gives one to watchman three parts of eleven gives to the son remaining are this. Again, finally, he divides seven seven seven. Let's try to understand formula. Look, three is multiple plus one is nothing but three is multiple minus two. That's what I told you. Three is multiple minus plus one is as good as three is multiple minus two. We are making four times three parts. We made three three parts four times. That's why three is to four. Each time we need three is multiple minus plus one is as good as three is multiple minus two, so that's why minus two. So he had minimum seventy nine diamonds in the beginning.